Hey everybody, it is your boy ncs 7 here. Welcome to another review video. And last week I reviewed Nintendo Switch Sports for, well, gee, the Switch. Today I'm going to be reviewing Wii Sports Club for the Wii U. So this was the previous Wii Sports game before Switch Sports and I want to talk about this game and really tear this game to shreds because... It, <laughs> Nintendo Switch Sports has its issues, but Wii Sports Club is the worst of the Wii Sports games, and I'll tell you why, and give a fair review of, of Wii Sports Club. So, let's start off with the presentation. Now, this game is basically just a remake of Wii Sports, and that is it. <laughs> Seriously, this game is, like, very little new. It's literally just the original Wii Sports, but again, now in HD not really that amazing and visually speaking like obviously the footage on screen isn't as good as it would look on an actual hd tv but the game really doesn't look that amazing honestly in my opinion it looks worse than wii sports resort because wii sports resort just looked a lot better i don't know it might maybe it has to do with like the colors i don't feel like the colors are really right in this game I don't know. In fact, honestly, I think the original Wii version of Wii Sports looked a lot better. <laughs> and like, this is a new HD console. It's like, you think they could do a little bit more, but not really. In fact, honestly, they just seem to make it worse. But I don't know. Personally, the presentation of the game is really not doing much. And then in terms of the gameplay, because there's no story, well, you got the original five sports from the first game. You've got tennis, baseball, bowling, golf, and boxing. And they're fine. Well, let's go through them individually. Let's start with tennis. And tennis is okay. I don't really care too much for it. It's just kind of whatever. It's pretty much the same as it is in Wii Sports, the original. Though one thing to mention is that this game does have the Wii Motion like plus the Motion Plus support or whatever that stuff is to make it so the motion controls are more like motion controls. And it's honestly kind of weird because the original Wii Sports didn't have that. So now if you're playing Wii Sports Club like upgrading from the original it's kind of weird like it, it really feels off but eh, it, it, tennis is fine baseball is kind of just fine i did notice though when i was playing though that the controls were for some reason inverted i'm not sure if this is just because of where i was standing at or how i was swinging the bat but i don't know the controls for swinging the bat were just really weird and you can use the gamepad for like the like throwing the ball but it just there's not really enough of a use to it at all. The gamepad doesn't really do much at all. And baseball's just okay. Bowling is fine. I don't like it anywhere near as much as Wii Sports Resort. It honestly the bowling alley looks even more drab than that of like the resort one. Honestly, it's more reminiscent of that of bowling alleys nowadays, because most bowling alleys kind of look like this. Very drab. But, I don't know. Bowling's okay. It's one of my favorite sports within the series, but it's definitely not that amazing here. I still prefer the resort version. And then we have golf, which is fine. Except for the whole gamepad mechanic. You see, unlike the Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort, where you just point at the ground, this time you have to put the gamepad on the ground and point your Wii Remote at that to kind of simulate as if you were hitting an actual golf ball. It's the stupidest thing ever. Seriously. There's no reason to use the gamepad for golf. It's just so pointless. I don't get why they would do that. It doesn't add anything either. I don't know if it adds like any precision or anything like that. It's just for looks. But golf is all right. It's fine enough. But I did notice that when I was playing though, that like it, the detection is just so weird. Like I'd swing it the same way, not too strong, like two times. And the first time would go like at full power. And then like the other time would go at like very little power. It's very inconsistent though. To be fair, I don't play golf a lot, especially on Wii Sports Club, because I barely play Wii Sports Club, but I don't know. Call me just a cr trash at the game, but I don't know. I blame it on the game. And then boxing. And boxing is just kind of whatever. It's kind of boring, honestly. It's just hitting each other, but it's not fast at all. It just feels really slow and just boring. I don't like it. I I'm sorry. I just don't have much to say about it and uh, that is pretty much it overall the sports in this game aren't really that amazing and honestly if you want to play better versions of these sports you can just play the original wii sports 
hell, you could already play the original Wii Sports on the Wii U anyway, so nobody, what the hell is even the point of this game? So gameplay-wise, it's just kind of whatever. It's really not that interesting. And control-wise, eh, control's fine, but the fact that you have to use the Wii Remote for so much is kind of strange considering, I don't know, Wii U gamepad? You could have done some interesting stuff with that. Maybe like bowling with the gamepad, like you swipe up on the gamepad screen to actually bowl. I think that would have been at least something interesting. At least then it would have given the gamepad more purpose rather than just visuals or looks. Like putting it on the ground, like do something more original with it. I don't know. That's at least how I feel. Or add more new sports. That'd be nice. Make the game feel unique because this game lacks an identity. Besides just being a remake of Wii Sports that no one wanted. And now finally going into the content of the game. Now, honestly, I don't know exactly, I don't remember how much the game costs, but the way they sold the game was really weird. See, you could pay like $40 for all the content, but like essentially you could get the game for free like right away and you could get like a pass and buy specific, like you could get a, like a pass that would essentially allow you to play like all of the sports, I believe, for like $40 or something like that and the, or you could just buy like the sports individually for like nine or like ten dollars or something like that I could be wrong if someone wants to correct me go on ahead but honestly content wise this game doesn't really have much going for it again it's like the five sports and that's kind of it there are stamps you can collect and some record stuff that you can do but it's not really as much fun as that of Wii Sports Resort because Wii Sports Resort had better games and honestly i think resort just controlled better so it made you want to play through the sports a lot more and there is also the online for this game which barely even works because nobody plays this game online nobody i tried playing the other day and nobody was online i can't imagine the online was even active when this game was first released at least that much but yeah content wise there's really not a lot here and I believe you were able to like rent the game potentially for free for a few days. So you could potentially get your fix of the game for like pretty quickly. But I don't know, man, this game like content is just really lacking. It doesn't do anything different from the original Wii Sports. And that's the problem. Why bother when you already have Wii Sports? Like Wii Sports ain't that much money. Just get that instead. It's better or get Wii Sports Resort. It's a better game. So yeah, content wise, the game I wouldn't say it's as lacking as Switch Sports, but it's definitely not good. Especially for a 2013-2014 Wii U game that should have had a lot more to it. They should have really leaned into the online a lot more and really pushed it, rather than being kind of just a side mode. That's like, oh yeah, it exists. But, I don't know. Concept-wise, the game is meh. Music-wise, well, the music in this game is also pretty mad. No real iconic music, that at least I feel. So, yeah, now I'm moving on to my final thoughts. And for the final thoughts, I'm decided that I'm going to make a Wii Sports games tier list. Wii Sports, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports Club, and Switch Sports are going to be involved in this. Uh, and I'm going to rank them. You're not going to see it on screen, but I'm going to rank them just by telling you. So at the very top, Wii Sports Resort. Wii Sports Resort is amazing. It has the best games and it's, it has the most personality. It's really, really solid. Number two, Wii Sports the original. It's the original. I mean, come on now, it's the original. It's great, it's fun. It has a lot of fun replay value. Wii, then number three, Nintendo Switch Sports. It's existent, but hey, at least there wasn't a Wii Sports scam on the Switch yet, at least made by Nintendo. And then finally at last place, Wii Sports Club. Like, say what you want about Switch Sports and how, like, the avatars are, don't look very good or there's not much to the game. But, like, honestly speaking, at least with Switch Sports, and Nintendo tried a little bit more than what they did with Wii Sports Club. They didn't just re-release the same game again and put 40 bucks on it. They at least made it somewhat different. And while I do understand, like, oh, like... We, like, but Switch Sports, like, it's just kind of garbage. I don't know. And also another thing is that, again, Switch Sports had a reason to exist. There wasn't a Wii Sports-like game on the Switch that was made by Nintendo. Again, on the Wii U, you could play Wii Sports and Wii Sports Resort through Wii Mode on the Wii U if you already had the game. So why even get Wii Sports Club? It's just pointless. Oh, well, yeah, you could rent the game for a while and save quite a bit of money. I don't know, I just feel like the game just has very little value or honestly, I don't even know what the point of the game is. 
What was Nintendo really trying to do with this game? And I think that's the game's big problem. It lacks an identity. What does this game do that's unique from the original game? It, it's sold in a different way. It has online that the, no one uses. That's it. <laughs> I know this has been a bit of a harsh review, but, and I know I've been doing a couple harsh reviews in a row, but like, God damn, I did want to talk about this game. Oh yeah, also this game crashed my Wii U just earlier, like an hour before recording this, like it just crashed and I had to restart the system. It told me that system memory was screwed up, so that's real great. And I played a lot of Splatoon before then on the Wii U and that didn't have any problems, so that's great. But anyways, on my scale of 0 to 10, I give Wii Sports Club a 5 out of 10. It is a very average game, then it's just super middle of the road, super mediocre, that there's just no reason for me to even continue talking about it. This is without a doubt the worst Wii Sports game in the entire series. And if, like, if you think Switch Sports is bad, then look, look at Wii Sports Club. <laughs> it's garbage. But that's my thoughts on it. What are your thoughts? Let me know in the comments below how much you like this review because I can't, ima I, I cannot imagine a lot of people are going to defend, like, are going to go against me on this. I think a lot of people are going to agree with me, but I could always be wrong. But anyways, thank you for watching the video uh, and I will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Take care and never play this game.